This movie is all about ideas mode, which is a new area for creating scenes in Machina, released with version 2.6.5. The mode might throw you at first because it loads up as default. However, with one click in the corner here, where the mixer button was previously, you can switch back to the old arrangement view. These modes are toggled with repeated presses of the song button on Jam, and by pressing Shift and Scene on the 16 pad controllers. The mixer button in the software now is at the top, incidentally. The main principle of Ideas Mode is that you can now create scenes which are free of the timeline, so it's quicker and easier to come up with new pattern combinations, which you can then select in Arrangement View if you want to start laying out a track. So this new mode is where scenes are now created, and in Arrangement View you can only create sections, which can either be empty or contain a scene, as we'll see shortly. So the first big difference in this new view is that groups are now displayed along the bottom, where you can add new ones in the same way as in Arrangement View with the plus button, and delete them by selecting and hitting the delete key, or using the right click menu. And you can click on the letters to mute and unmute them, or solo with right click. So with each group having its own column here then, it means all the patterns for the group are displayed. But in the software, this means you no longer have to go into the pattern menu to create a pattern for a group as you can just double click a free slot up here, and then move it around, and rename it, and so on. Just to create a few scenes here then, let's say I wanted to have an intro scene with just the beats, then I can select that pattern in group A, clicking on patterns selects and deselects them. And I can rename that scene now, and then I'll create a new scene, and have the beats again, and also the pads from group C, and I'll name that intro 2, and finally a third scene with this beats and synths pattern, and then the bass in group B. And that'll be the drop. And these scenes can be played in the normal way from the hardware or software, simply by hitting play and then choosing the scenes to switch between them. With Ideas Mode then, you can create as many scenes as you like without adding anything to Machina's arrangement. As you can see, switching to Arrangement View, it's empty. And if I click the plus button, it no longer adds a scene there, but you get an empty space instead. And I have to right click and choose scenes to add them. From the Mark II and Studio controllers, this is done in Section Edit Mode, which is the new Scene Mode display when in Arrangement View, toggled by pressing Shift and Scene as mentioned a minute ago. Just like in Scene Mode, you can create or select a section by hitting a pad, but then you have a Scene parameter on the display for adding a scene to it. From Jam, similarly, sections are created and then selected with the scene buttons, but then scenes are added to them by pressing and holding a sections button and then rotating the encoder. So another benefit of this is that if I wanted to have an empty space in the arrangement now, then I can just create one and then drag it out to as many bars as I like, then maybe add my drop at some point after that. So this update has improved flexibility when arranging too. Another new addition is the ability to MIDI control the launching of scenes from the door. To turn this on, you just click on the settings button on the transport, and select MIDI change, and you can then turn on MIDI select for either scenes, sections or locks, and choose either MIDI notes or program change data. I'll be showing lock controlling in some live integration movies I've got planned in the near future, but for now I'll just enable scene selection with notes on MIDI channel 1. And now, any clips in the door on the track just need MIDI notes starting right at the bottom of the range with scene 1, and then each note above triggering the corresponding scene. So if I have one clip for each scene now, then I can launch scenes 1 to 3 by triggering those clips. Or even scenes 1 to 3 in live, so my projects are completely in sync. The last main addition is a simple but powerful one, and that's this plus routings button in the browser when loading groups. With this turned on, kits load in the same way as previously, whereas turned off means any I.O. settings you currently have will stay the same. So this is a big deal if you have a performance setup or even a production one, routing out to your door maybe, which you want to keep the same whilst browsing for new kits. So some solid new additions in the 2.6.5 update, stay tuned for more Machina tutorials over the next few months.